Okay, now the floor is done. This is probably gonna be the last time we see it for a little bit as we're gonna cover it up to protect it uh, just so that when we're moving things in and out and working on different projects, it doesn't get damaged. So we're gonna cover it up with some uh, thick construction paper. Super happy with how it came out and can't wait to finally rip off that construction paper once the bus is done. Okay, take one last look for now at the beautiful floor. We get it all covered and protected by Pretty Floor. Okay, so Scott is working on organizing the shed. We've been clearing everything out of the bus to move over to the shed. And while he's doing that, I found our paint that we plan to use in the bathroom. We've been debating whether or not to paint this wall with the paint color or the shiplap wall. He really wants this one. I really want this one. But you know what? Paint can always be repainted over. So I'm going to secretly paint the wall that he wants while he's working on organizing the shed and we'll see what he thinks. Wish me luck. Also the paint color kind of matches my vibe today. Like look at that. Hey! Also I'm so not in paint clothes so hopefully I don't mess these up. Oh it's pretty you guys. Caught behind the nation blinds How to reach for the city lines this ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I've become I've been running least Looking for something So that's where I'm gonna call it so I can get like an actual hand brush and finish up these trim areas because I don't want to mess that stuff up. So um, we're gonna call it a pause until we get the right stuff. Okay, so we are gonna show Scott the bathroom. Woo! Da -da -da. Woo! <laughs> Looks great. Love it. Okay, and we're gonna see if our wallpaper kind of matches it. You guys haven't gotten to see our wallpaper yet, so I'm not gonna show you, but we're gonna see if it matches. So today we are continuing with the bathroom. Um, I actually did some work previous on the bathroom and that kind of came to a stop when my dad came in town because basically tiling the shower was a one-man job. You can really fit two people in there and so we kind of put that on hold, worked on other projects. What we've already done is we've already go boarded all the shower area, we've red guarded it, we've cut out the hole for the drain, I did all the pan, I uh, did some tiling but now what I'm going to do today is continue on with that tiling and hopefully this week get that shower completely tiled. So let's go. I wonder how this night will be The apple does not fall far from she said I almost died a week ago I lost my way, I thought I'd let you know does anybody else like me? I absolutely love tiling. I think it's just such a great, um, it just makes you feel good seeing the process, seeing it all come together and just the visual difference of before and after. I just love it. However, my skin is like super sensitive. Not like, not like sensitive, like I, I break out in rashes or anything, but just I hate the dry feeling of like all the mud. Like it's almost like nails on a chalkboard to me, just how dry my skin gets. Is, is that normal or is that, is that just me? Oh, can we make this even better somewhere close about? Ooh, let's find out. Ooh, let's find out. Why you don't tile with a cup of tea next to you? <laughs> you almost lost it. Chipped it. Where? Bottom. Yep. Good morning, everyone, all you beautiful people. Today is the day that we maybe put up our wallpaper. And we've been waiting for the grand reveal of the wallpaper, but I think you will find it very becoming. I think you'll find it the bee's knees. You know, I think you're just going to think it's beautiful. You want a sneak peek? I'll give you a sneak peek. Sneak peek. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, the bathroom tiling is going really well. And right now what I'm about to do is I'm actually about to grout uh, the tile that we have put down. Um, I haven't put up the tile that is up against the, the shower area yet. Um, I don't know if we've showed you that yet, but basically I'm waiting for that to come in as the shower that we currently have is not going to work uh, for our shower right now. So let me explain. Previously what we were going to do is we're actually going to put in this Nebbia Spa shower um, that we actually had in our house. Absolutely loved it. And that has been the plan this entire time. However, just with the size of the shower, um, it was making it a little difficult and I'll show you why. So long story short, uh, we built our showers on two by twos. And so what we had to do in order to fit this uh, shower diverter in, is we had to create the shelf area, which I kind of love because it kind of gives us a place to, you know, put shower, uh, shampoo and all that good stuff. However, the issue that it's created, once we put the shower here, um, the shower actually runs all the way down to here. And then having those hoses come out hits the shelf, which basically makes the handheld hose come like just awkward like it's too tight of a, a corner right here and it just makes the hose like loop all around no matter where we put it it has this huge loop coming through it also our skylight with how big that bar was it was going to go past this and it was going to almost hit uh this area so we would have had to have um, DIY cut that pipe down and shorted it. So it was just a lot more work and just kind of awkward than the, what we really wanted to do. However, we loved our Nebbia spa shower. And so we really wanted to install another Nebbia shower in here. And so what we're actually doing now, instead of the spa shower that saves, I think 40% uh, water than a traditional shower is we're actually going to install the Quattro, which saves up to 50% water. So it's going to look a little different, but I think it's going to look a whole lot cleaner and actually be more effective in saving water. So super excited for that. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to grout the tile that we have. Uh, wait till we get the shower just to make sure I get all the measurements correct before I tile this wall. As the tile that we're using is a cement tile, which is um, a thick tile, uh, but it's just on this wall. And so I just want to make sure that we have all the right pipes and, and depth of pipe to the, tile, to the tile, to the shower uh, before we install that. But right now, going to grout what we've done and go from there. Grouted. I'm so happy and pleased with how it came out and right now I'm about to start on the cement tile the shower head hasn't come in yet But I thought I can at least do the bottom part and lead up to the shower head area um, Until that comes in and then we can go from there, but big reveal here is our feature wall of cement tile Look how colorful and retro this is. Um, and you can probably tell that it actually does make a pattern as you start to add the tiles. And so I can't wait to see all that come together. Uh, this is my first time ever using cement tile. I've done tiling before, but never used cement tile. And so I'm a little nervous about this process, um, but we will learn as we go. <laughs> And learning as we go has been something that has just been um, kind of a challenge for us. Kind of been slowing us down, like learning different things, trying new things. Uh, but we kind of having fun learning along the way. The only difficult thing for me and my personality is that my personality is a perfectionist by nature. However, I can't do anything perfect. So whenever I make mistakes, it's kind of always a challenge to just kind of accept the mistake and just live with it. My personality struggles with, with those little mistakes and it can kind of uh, just be a challenge to overcome them. But that's just that's just the way that it is. Like, we've got to give ourselves grace, right? We've never uh, built a school bus before. And so kind of those little mistakes, I'm just kind of telling myself that it's just character, right? I think of Bob Ross and the kind of mistakes that he makes just turns them into birds or happy trees. And so that's what we're going to call our mistakes from now on. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Okay guys, wish me luck. Uh, like I said, this is the first time doing cement tile. Um, I'm a little nervous because there's um, added challenges to cement tile. One is just that they're so um, absorb absorptions? Absor absorbed, absorbed, absorbed.
absorbent. Absorbent, uh, which means that you got to kind of wet the tiles before you put the, uh, them on so that they don't dry out the mortar as it's curing. Uh, second thing is, is they stain super easily until you seal them. So I can't put grout on until I've sealed them like five times. And so just kind of added steps, a little nervous, never cut cement tiles, so don't know how that's going to go. And so, yeah, wish me That went way better than expected. Uh, it was actually pretty nice uh, to do. Um, also, cutting them was way better than I anticipated. I was just afraid that um, they were gonna break just because they were just a type of material when cutting, uh, but they actually cut so much better than porcelain tile. Uh, so yeah, really great experience. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this to dry. Uh, I try to get it as clean as possible because again, with cement tile, uh, you don't want anything to stain it. And so hopefully I've cleaned it well enough and then I'm gonna leave that to dry for 24 hours and then come and start the sealing process. All right, so that's where we're gonna leave you guys for this week. Come back next week. Make sure you're subscribed for the grand reveal of the entire bathroom tour. We are so excited, like understatement of the year. We are so excited to share the bathroom renovation with you guys and how it all turned out. So we'll be back next week.